Hi everyone, this is Adi from Team Coder Z, and today I'm going to show you a very exciting feature, the Learning Center. As you may recall, all of the Coder Z missions belonged in the Mission Center. In the Mission Center, you were able to see all the missions that we had aggregated into packs. The Crash Course, for example, had over 50 missions all in one pack. That made navigation and orientation a bit uncomfortable. So, the Learning Center first comes to solve this issue of finding the missions, accessing the mission, missions, and making sense of all the curriculum that we have added in the past year. So this is the main view of the Learning Center. What we have here are the courses that CoderZ has to offer for you. You can see the crash course, the coding robots, and for existing customers, we've also created a new course called the Mission Center, which gives access to all the previous specs that you had before this release. This means that you still have access to everything that you had before. But the crash course and the coding robots offer a more convenient way to access the materials. Let's start with clicking on the crash course. First of all, you can see there's a description of the course and a link to the teacher's guide. When you click on it, you can see all the available, whoop, let's move aside, all the available packs. Now, before in the mission center, pack would have a lot of missions in them, but now, We've created packs with fewer missions to make easier navigation. So, for example, in the crash course, you have 11 packs available to you. There's basic navigation, one and two, object detection, repeat loops, etc. In each pack, you can see how many activities or missions are within that pack. And you can also see a nice progress bar that tells you how far you've progressed in each pack. If you click on a pack, voila, here are the missions. You can scroll down, but there are not that many missions as before in each pack. So packs are just folders with missions and less missions in each folder. And we've created more folders, meaning more packs, to make up one single course. You can see everything here in the uh, easy navigations that we have created. You can skip to other uh, packs if you like. And you can also change courses from here or access the entire course catalog uh, by clicking the My Courses. Now, this view is available for teachers only because students can only have one single course active at any given time. So if you have students going through two of the courses that we offer, Crash Course and Coding Robots, then just separate them into two classes. Uh, if you need help, contact support and we'll be happy to show you how. Now, by default, all your students are going to be assigned the Mission Center course which looks exactly like before, only the navigation changed. You get the Getting Started missions, the Crash Course A and B, Coding Robots, and the Extra Challenges. And in each one of them, you'll find the relevant missions. But if you want them to focus their learning, for example, on the Crash Course, and, and keep them in line on the missions at hand, then there is something very nice that you can do. Go into your classes and choose the appropriate class which you want to change. And in the options menu located here, choose the course settings. Here you can change the assigned course to them. For example, let's change it to coding robots. And you can also change the progress type. Now, what does that mean? Pay attention. Students until now were able to open any mission at any time. But now with the rollout of the learning center, you can control how they can make progress within the course. For example, in Coding Robots, if I check all packs open, this means that all of the packs are open and of course all of the missions in those packs. If you choose pack by pack, this means that they first need to complete a pack before they can unlock the next pack. So by default, only the first pack is unlocked. Once they complete all the missions successfully in that pack, the next pack will unlock for them. The last option is manual. You can choose what packs you want to unlock for them and when you decide you want to change that go back into the settings go back to course settings and unlock another one this gives you more control on how students can progress everything else remains the same and none of the missions went away we just uh, put them into packs and courses like in folders to make it easier uh, for students to uh, orient and navigate also for the teachers and again, you can see uh, how many activities, you can see the progress bar in each uh, pack, and each pack focuses on a specific topic. 
making more sense uh, and, and added value into the learning process so hope you enjoy it hope it's 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 clearer now and um, if you have questions feel free to reach out um, I definitely recommend you go into our help center we have a, a, a courses section and we have a, 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 a pack sections in which you can go and learn more about how you can do everything including how to uh, control course process uh, progress for students uh, or how to assign courses to your students so feel free to use these resources they're created for you and let us know if you like what we've done go into the feedback let us know what you think and let us know if there is anything that we can fix uh, please write it down send it I get an email uh, and so is my team so again thank you take care and may the code be with you